I'm here with the fog of my anti-COVID mask on, uh, clouding up my glasses. I'm here in a foggy state because for almost 60 years, I've been living under patriarchy and I'm sick and tired of it. Yeah. I am here to welcome my younger feminist brothers and sisters to the franchise. I'm here to welcome everyone who will be voting for the first time in their first presidential election. Please, please come out and vote. In New York City, voting begins this Saturday. In New York State, voting begins this Saturday. Wake up and vote. Not all of us wanted to vote for Biden. Not all of us wanted to vote for Harris. But we all understand that voting is harm reduction. So let's come out and reduce some harm. We all believe in the power of the vote and we are committed to a peaceful presidential transition. We envision it, we demand it. I'm also here to speak for the issues that affect us, not just as women, but affect anyone who ever grew in a womb and popped out of a vagina. <laughs> what are our issues? Yes, our issues are safe and legal abortion access, the right to information about our bodies, an end to the maternal mortality statistics that overwhelmingly affect women of color, the pandemic of violence against transgender people. But we also face, all of us, the issues of a living wage, affordable housing, access to higher education that won't cripple us for the rest of our lives, excellent childcare for the next generation, like climate change, rape, Abortion rights, maternal morality, mortality are not just women's issues. These are people issues. So men, step up and vote. I'm turning out in person to vote on November 3rd. Wild horses couldn't keep me. See you at the polls. Rise and resist. Rise and resist. Rise and resist! Rise and resist!